out and wire it this morning. We hope to have it inspected within an hour. Um, we have chosen to put most of the wires behind the service bay studs, making it very easy to uh, string the lines. And the false ceiling also has made it very easy to move the conductors around. We've had to drill very few holes. It's been an easy task to wire this house. We've installed a 200 amp panel in the garage and from here we have run a heavy conductor to a sub panel within the main part of the house and the purpose of that is simply to reduce the number of penetrations to the vapor barrier. That's the big issue with building a house like this. So we chose to main panel then a 100 amp sub panel in the house. So this is the 100 amp sub panel inside the house itself. It's been deliberately set low so that somebody in a wheelchair can access the breakers um, and to have independent living. You'll notice that there are very few breakers showing here. It's just because it's at the rough end stage. Uh, the bulk will be added in a short time. Um, this is a simplified system that works well. One of the features of this house is that we've gone to a manifold system for the water distribution. This happens to be our one inch line coming in from the street. We will be installing a shutoff valve and a pressure reduction valve to protect the uh, domestic water. The blue pipes are all for the cold and we have buried all the blue piping in the sand below the slab and the hot piping was set in the foam just under the The hot water lines have been snaked through the foam below the slab so as a result there will be very little heat loss between this point and the end use i.e. the bathroom or the kitchen. Uh, one of the other features will be uh, the effect of this is pressure balance. There will be very little flux and this is very economical. Do you want to go down?